Let's look at the main elements of the Svantec supervisor software. The operation of the instrument is uh, pretty straightforward. Everything to do with the instrument is under the instrument tab. This includes setting up the instrument in the first place to begin the measurements and downloading the results once a measurement has been made. Once the results are downloaded, the second part of the software is the data browser to show us the stored results and allow us to look in a little bit more detail. But there is uh, another part which is the button up in the top left hand corner. This is the main menu button which has a number of useful features. Clicking on the button brings up a small menu for example which allows us to export the database perhaps once a week to back up and save the complete database or parts of the database to a secure location in case anything happens to our PC. Once information has been exported we need a way of importing those results again if we need to rebuild the database uh, after a, a particular uh, event has uh, occurred maybe to, uh, to damage the existing database. So these two are quite useful. The view uh, indication here allows us to toggle on or off the status bar which is shown at the bottom of the screen here. Let me just turn that back on again. The status bar is where it shows us the version number of the software which helps us to know that we are up to date. Also in the main menu here we have access to uh, the help. Simply check the help topics and the help file is displayed which can be searched to find particular answers to questions about how the software works. We can also exit the software by clicking the exit button here. We have a, a choice to modify the database location where the results are stored on our PC. This is the existing current location for our database in this folder. We can create a new location. Perhaps as a consultant we might work for a number of different companies and we want to keep the results from each of the companies that are our clients, we want to keep them in a separate database. We can move a database from one location to a different location if we need to and we can switch from the current location to bring up the database of a different company. Coming back to the menu, we have a first run wizard. This will normally run the first time that you start the software but it can be initiated at any time in the future as well and this is basically to choose two key pieces of information. The first is simply the size of the paper that your printer uses to uh, produce the hard copy outputs. So choose letter size for the North American standard 11 by 8.5 inch paper and the format of the reports. If you have Microsoft Office installed on your PC you can choose to produce reports in the standard doc format. If you don't have that fitted or you want to go directly to a universal file format for your reports you can choose the PDF option. If you don't want to do that there is a third choice to create RTF files which can be opened by pretty well all uh, document uh, manipulation, manipulation software programs. And finally the uh, last option here is in fact the options menu uh, and this pulls up the main options for the software which enables us to control quite a lot of things that the software can show us and how it shows us. We have a general tab, we have a, a tab to do with graphing, changing the languages, formatting the values which are shown on screen, changing the fonts and colors in our views and tables, playing back the audio recordings if we have uh, made those, the data exchange 
when we transfer data between the instruments and the software. When we create sessions, we can uh, join values together or leave them separate. We have a variety of logger calculations that enable us to calculate extra pieces of information from the short samples that we've recorded. Our spectrum calculations can be based on either of the versions of the noise criterion standards. Our preview menu here is a, a useful one that lets us see the information which typically would be shown in this window underneath. Our exposure panels to look at the appearance of the information and how we show the columns and our hand arm and a final one to do with our hearing protectors showing the mean attenuation, standard deviation uh, and the octave readings and so on. These are all capable of being customised to suit exactly what we want to see and how we want to see it.